Hello, my name is Safina Emmanuel. I am on the UI UX team for the Daniel Keck Developers Club. Okay, um, I started UI UX um, since 2021. That's two years now. It was after I graduated from um, university. I said in graphic design, so from graphic design I just transitioned into um, user interface and user experience design. Okay, my love for designing, designing is a thing of passion. I love um, putting things together to create something beautiful and meaningful for users and curious people that's Okay, the difference between UI design and UX design is user interface design is all about the visual, um, the visual look of a mobile application or um, a website, while the user experience design is about designing for the user. You're taking into account the experience you undertake from the beginning to the end of using that particular digital product. Okay, um, being a team member of the Daniel Kev Developers Club has been has been amazing. The experience has been awesome. I've met really amazing people, really beautiful people from the developers to the designers. I love the collaboration of team members. I love the idea of the hub. It's a very peculiar idea and I'm looking forward to more projects and more fun that's going to happen in the hub. Thank you. Okay, before any project is um, finalized, there has to be a lot of interaction between the designers and developers and other stakeholders involved in the design process. So, effective communication is, is very important, very necessary. We need to um, communicate properly our designs and also the developers need to also communicate properly to us so we can um, achieve the end product of the project so the project can go well and turn out fine okay so this is a very interesting question um, I use Figma for my designs it's a very interesting application and it's, it's advanced I love using Figma because of its advanced features and Figma it's a collaborative um, software you can collaborate with team members across from anywhere, any part of the world. So that's why I, I choose Figma. Okay, first of all, before um, designing a new project, I have to understand what the project is all about, who are the end users. So this helps me to figure out the kind of fonts I pick, the kind of um, animations and illustrations I use on the on the project it helps me to really define um, the project so I gather this information to define my design process so it helps me at every stage of the process okay it has been a very uh, interesting experience although it has its ups and downs um, it's been challenging also because being a beginner, you have to really undergo so many um, processes, you have to really undergo so many hard times because um, as a beginner, everybody every, everybody faces that as a beginner. So for you to fully understand um, the whole process of UI UX, you have to undergo those stages. So it's been challenging and I've been able to learn a lot and um, um, I'm still learning and I'm still improving on my design so it's been it's been it's been good it's been interesting I look forward to doing more projects As a designer it's it's really um, the the work uh, life balance of the designer like I'm speaking from my own experience it's it's more work than than other things because I put so much work, uh, so much effort to my design, I put so much effort to my work and I try to balance it up by relaxing, watching movies, listening to music, going out while I can. It's not been, 
it's not going to be easy because you have to do a lot of work. There's a lot of work I'm always repeating it because it's true. So there's a lot of work and there's a lot of sacrifice. So I just uh, when I can, which is also my issue because I need to relax because without resting you won't be able to focus, you won't be able to achieve so much, you won't be productive if, if you don't rest. So resting is very important. Eating healthy also is important. Um, exercises regularly and while walking you can just like um, move around, you just take probably 10 minutes break moving around, uh, relaxing your body because designing you need to be in a particular position like on your system and design and stuff like that so you need to move around you need to relax your body so you can be more creative and productive okay, so as a designer we undergo what they call creative um, blocks so when that happens to me personally what i do is i stop working because no matter what you do at that particular point you'll be able to do so much so what, what i do is i just like um take my eyes off of my screen you know, if, if i can move around i do i just pick up my phone go out make a call or just close down the system totally and just stroll take a stroll talk to people talk to friends and family just do something different watch a movie or do something very different and I think the creativity will come back naturally. I watch movies, I'm a movie person. I'm currently watching the chat. Okay, my advice for anyone aspiring to become a movie IUX designer is that you have to put in the work, you have to put in um, the efforts because nothing good comes easy. You need to sacrifice a lot of your time. Um, you need to you need to be good at what you do. UI UX is not just about putting colors and fonts together. It's about a process, a designing process. It's about a development process. So you need to you need to put yourself together. You need to think effectively, you need to communicate properly, you need to work on yourself a lot. So to achieve um, to achieve um, the end goal, which is a very good digital product. Um, my name is Sarafina Emmanuel. Um, I'm a part of the UI UX team, as I said before, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. And what? <laughs> hey God! I don't. You caught it now. Uh -huh. hmm. Let me skip that question. And how they? How they? Please cut! Cut! Cut!